Well, hello, 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 and welcome to Omer's Garage. Today, we're gonna be answering the question of why there is a Model S in my garage. All right, so if you have been following the channel, um, one of the last videos I posted was the charger, um, the cable would not release uh, from the actual port um, on the vehicle on my Model X. And um, so, I, you know, I went onto the Tesla app and put in, you know, that there, were, there was having issues with the charging cable. And I took it in on Monday, today is Wednesday. And I went up there today, they gave me Uber credits, which is usually what they do is that when you go in for service, they won't give you a loaner, they'll just give you Uber credits. Um, but, you know, they told me it would be ready by Monday. Obviously it's Wednesday today, and um, I went up there today because I said I really need a loaner. I don't, you know, I can't be going around on, in an Uber. I have a family and it gets a little bit tedious to try to get everybody, you know, into these, um, into these Ubers. All right, so I am back on my way. I got a message through the app um, and the Tesla is ready. Um, when I took it in, the, there was like a squeaking that came from the steering wheel. I'm an autopilot, by the way. Um, and I'm in a Model S, so they gave me a loaner eventually. Um, but I dropped it off on Monday. It's been there since. Um, and today's Friday, so it took five days to get the parts in. But they changed the, um, the lower control arms, and they also changed the uh, steering module on the vehicle. Because I, I, I felt like there was like a squeaking going on. And obviously in these cars, when you don't have a motor, every sound inside the car gets amplified. So um, I asked them to take a look at it and they're gonna go ahead and the car's still under warranty. Um, they were kind of surprised about that because I got a, a four year, um, 50,000 mile warranty. So my warranty expires next October. So we're today is September, 2022. So October, 2023, which is the month that I bought the car is um, when the warranty expires. I have about 9,000 miles left on the car um, as far as the 50,000 miles. So I haven't put 50,000 miles on it in four years, but we will hopefully get the car back today. They, they, they lent me a Model S. You can see it's got a, some delamination, but other, other than that and some squeaking when you move around, it's, uh, it's a pretty nice car. It's pretty fast. You know, I've enjoyed driving it around. It's a P85D. So it's probably, I think 2016 is when the Ds started coming out, you know, the dual motor vehicles. So it's, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's too, not too old, but um, it's got the autopilot. Um, it's got the insane mode. It's, it wasn't ludicrous in this one. It's called insane, but um, I'm glad they gave me the loaner and um, hopefully we'll be able to get my car back and get back on the road service center we know so well all right so i am back uh, from tesla um couldn't find my charger so i had to send them a message they actually put it in the front um so i was able to charge it um so it's a moment of truth um i plugged it into the uh, 240 volt receptacle um i thought they were going to give me a new one of these they didn't they gave me the same one i had before which is fine because i don't think that was the issue you know it was the charger and we're going to go ahead and try to plug it in. All right, so we got it plugged in like we normally do. It's blinking real green. Looks good. And it is charging at 26 miles an hour. So, you know, 40 amps. Looks like we're looking pretty good. No error messages. So, looks like they got the job fixed. All right, well, there you have it. So, you know, unfortunately, this was not an easy fix. I had it at Tesla for over a week. They had to replace the, the charger, the built-in charger in the car. That was, the, you know, they told me it was about $2,800 if I had to do it out of pocket. It's still under warranty, so they covered it. You know, I've been to the Tesla, um, you know, repair center uh, many, you know, several times with this car. It's mostly minor things. It's probably the, the biggest thing, but the car is still charged and everything. It was just giving me an error message. So it's not like it left me stranded. Um, I did have to figure out how to release that uh, that cable manually. Um, so I have a video for that. But um, other than that, um, they treated me really well. There's a technician named Tom there that took really good care of me. And um, we did a test drive also, because I was hearing kind of a squeak in the steering wheel. They replaced the upper control arms uh, under warranty, and they also replaced the steering module. 
um, in the vehicle under warranty as well. There's absolutely no sounds now when I drive it. And there was a sound when I was, after they did the, uh, the alignment or they replaced the, the upper control arms, there was like a clicking sound when I accelerated. So I took it back uh, that same day. I just test drove it, heard it. They went, you know, they kept it an extra day and they got the result. So they treated me pretty well, you know, at the service center. I'm pretty happy with, uh, with the level of service. A couple other things I noticed, there's some delamination on the uh, screen and I'll do another video uh, later on, but uh, in the upper corner there, you can kind of see it. So I'll be doing another video on that, um, trying to get that resolved. Um, it's very common on these cars. Um, not sure if it's related to what they did with the steering, you know, column module, removing that. I had never seen that before. But it's there but um hopefully you know i have a warranty until october of next year probably another eight nine thousand miles left on it um if you get these cars definitely i recommend getting a warranty just because it can be expensive you know that charge you know the charger did cost you know 2800 bucks um, there's something other that has to probably be looked at before you can you used to be able to push the door in and then uh it would open up the little charging port it seems like it's not doing that anymore so i don't know if that's something that it's something's failed but Anyways, there's little quirks. So hopefully if you're one of the folks that is having that charger error message, and it's not good news if you don't have a warranty because it looks like it's the charger that needs to be replaced. But it's about $2,200 to $2,800. And hopefully that'll get you back on the road um, using, like I said, the original charger. But uh, that's gonna be it. So hopefully this helps somebody out there out. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and like, share, comment on the video. Just let me know what you thought. If there's any other ideas, you know, if you've had this issue, something else that may have resolved it. So if you can, you know, just leave a comment in the description and tell me about your experiences with the service centers as well. Y'all take care and stay safe.